In this video presentation, I'm going to talk to you about the main nerve supply to the lower limb, which will include the ankle and the foot complex. But the two main nerves that originate from the sciatic nerve, one of them is known as the tibial nerve. And the tibial nerve, you can see it here, this yellow structure coming all the way down. So this comes from the sciatic nerve, which comes from L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. And potentially, if I just take this away here, you can see the sciatic nerve come in near the piriformis muscle as it comes through the greater sciatic foramen along here. So it comes down the whole of the back of the leg. You can see it coming down in here. So the bit we are concerned with is that the tibial nerve will supply the superficial posterior compartment, which will be the gastrocnemius and the soleus, also plantaris will be in there. The tibial nerve will also supply the deep compartment, which will be the tibialis posterior, and also the flexor digitorum longus and the flexor allucius longus as well. And as it comes down, it will follow around the tarsal tunnels in here, because what we've got in this area, we've got something called the Tom Dick and very nervous Harry. Okay, so the Tom Dick Harry relates to the three muscles. The tibial is posterior, the Dick is flexor digitorum longus, and then Harry relates to flexor hallucis longus. But also we've got the Tom Dick An, okay, which relates to the artery, which is the posterior tibial artery as it comes down, and then nervous relates to the nerve, which is the tibial nerve. So that will follow the order. Okay, so it's Tom, Dick and very nervous Harry yeah, as it comes through here. Now, and as it comes down under the foot, you can't see it now, but as it comes down it will split into the medial and the lateral plantar nerve and naturally supply the muscles of the foot. So that will be a bit about the tibial nerve. Posterior to the back of the thigh, the nerve of the sciatic also has another component which is known as the, either you can call it the common peroneal nerve, but it's also known as the common fibular nerve. The common fibular nerve, which is this one here, this yellow structure, comes from the sciatic nerve, from L4, L5, and S1 and S2, whereas the tibial nerve has an extra component from the S3. So the peroneal nerve will come down, or the common peroneal or fibular nerve comes down, and then as it comes around the head of the fibula, it will split into two. We have the superficial fibular nerve here, and then this will supply the muscles of the peroneals, and that will be the peroneal longus and the peroneal brevis along here, or fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. So it only supplies those two, and then the Continuation is into the deep fibular nerve or the deep peroneal nerve and then that will supply the tibialis anterior. Also supplies the EDL, the extensor digitorum longus and then the small muscle underneath that called the extensor digitorum brevis. It also supplies this fiber called the fibularis tertius or the peroneal tertius along here. Uh, supplies the extensor hallucius longus, which goes to the great toe, which is the hallux. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but also supplies the tibialis anterior. So this muscle group here, okay, comes down, which are really the, the dorsiflexes of the ankle and foot, uh, because it also extends the great toe, is supplied from the deep fibular nerve. There's also a sensory nerve which comes from the femoral nerve, which is L2, 3, and 4, and is known as the saphenous nerve. And it's the sensory component that supplies this medial side of the lower part of the foot in here. Okay, so it comes from the, the saphenous nerve. In terms of dermatomes, so think about a dermatome. Okay, we've got myotomes. So a myotome, what that means is it's like a muscle innervation from a nerve root. So when you lift your foot up, Basically, it is from L4 and L5 myotome that lift your foot up. To evert is mainly coming from S1. 
to invert will be coming from L4 and L5. And if you were to plant our flex, it's mainly from S1. Now, the dermatone is naturally an area of skin innervation from a nerve root. So this area of the medial shin is known as the L4 dermatome. The anterior shin, lateral shin here, come down onto the dorsal foot, including the great toe in some dermatome maps, will be from L5. So L5 dermatome areas here. S1 is a little bit on the lateral side, can include the little toe, depending on what um, chart you see. And the majority of the plantar surface of the foot will be from S1. Okay, but as, as I said, you know, if you looked at 10 dermatome maps, you might find they, they vary slightly. So just bear that in mind when you do have altered sensor, sensory changes to the foot. So that's the majority of the nerves yeah, covered. There is also a nerve called the sural nerve, which is a component of the tibial and a component of the compronial. And that just gives you a, a sensory part of the posterior part of the leg. Okay, but um, the main ones will be the tibial and then also the common peroneal or the common fibula and also a branch of the saphenous from the femoral nerve. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation on the nerve supply of the ankle and foot complex.